action. Welcome back to another episode of Edinburgh Festival Live. Uh, another excellent show, jam-packed, of course, with all the best comedy that we can lay our hands on. Um, first, let me ask you an interesting question. And I say interesting, of course, in the loosest possible term. What year did the Edinburgh Festival start? Was it 1912, just before the Great War, where I think we probably did have arts, but they were racist? Uh, was it 1937, just before the Second World War? Was it 1947? You can tweet us your answer at edfest underscore live, or you can catch us on YouTube if you've missed any of our earlier episodes on SBC Edinburgh Fest Live. So, our first guest, we have... Hailed by XFM as a destined for comedy greatness, far, far nicer than anyone's ever said anything about me, Hayley Ellis. Hello. Hi. How you doing? So how's your festival been so far? Hey, all right, three yeah. days in. It's, yeah. it's going well. There's enough people in last night that we could all get a rickshaw home, so that oh, was, that was good. Yeah, That's that was good. really good. Edinburgh is full of those at the moment. What, I don't people see them or rickshaws? Both. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're not very handy ways to get around town. There's a lot of hills in no, Edinburgh. No, not when I'm paying for it as well. <laughs> so, this isn't your first festival, is it? You've been no, here. I, did, uh, I didn't do last year. I did the year before, so, yeah. And did you get time to see many shows, or are you just work, work, work? No, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just bedding my show in, and then oh. next week I'm going to go and watch a load of shows. So what makes you laugh? Um, people falling over, <laughs> um, people hurting themselves. Yeah, that's... Real highbrow stuff. Yeah, of course. Uh, so t- Pratt Falls and... All the sort of the slapstick stuff. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. great. So, so, what's your show like? Is that what we can expect from you? Um, my show is just an hour stand-up with a sort of narrative, not a very strong one. But like, <laughs> trying to say that, should yeah, I about my own it's show? Selling that hard. Just jokes. Just jokes. Yeah. And what, what's it called? Where can we find you? It's called FOMO, uh, which is an acronym that stands for fear of missing out. I googled that. Thank God, I really thought that was going to yeah. be swearing. I then had to Google what acronym meant. I didn't have a clue. <laughs> uh, so I was there a while. So why should people come and see your show? What's, what's the attraction? Other than yourself, of course. Yeah. See, see, I'm the are. worst person at selling my own show. I was flyering for myself yesterday. I, I shouldn't have done it because I just ended up recommending other people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst person. Uh, why should you see it? Um, I, oh, my joke was voted one of the best jokes of the decade for The Fringe. Of the decade? Yeah. See, um, I will ask what it was, but then we ruined it. No, can't, really, I can't on a breakfast TV show. Oh, OK, that's a, uh, that's a no-no. It's uh, X-rated. <gasps> Unlike the name of your show, which I was very pleased to find out. Yeah. Um, Okay, so where can people see you? You gotta tell them. I'm in the community project at 9.35 p.m. every day for the rest of the year. That's what it feels like. <laughs> it's a long run. I mean, so you're in you're in for the whole festival. Yeah. How how does that I mean that must be a change of pace from I, anything else anyone does normally? Yeah, I feel like I said to my boyfriend on the phone the other night, I feel like I'm in prison. <laughs> but then he was like, but you have your freedom. I was like, do I? <laughs> do I? Uh, it just feels like I've been here forever already, but it's going good. I'm having fun. So, hello, so have you just been, just came up to do the show, or you, were you, did you get some time beforehand, the week before? Like community service. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no uh, yeah, I've just come up to do the show. So, yeah. So, so have you ever seen Edinburgh outside the festival? Yeah. Or, <laughs> Pictures. It's... All right, you've never been here. No, I have, I have. It's pretty different. Yeah, completely different. Yeah, a lot of people sort of get impressed. It's like, oh, your city's so lovely, and there's so many shows on and stuff, and it's pretty cool and miserable most of the time. No, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, especially when there isn't you no know, littered pictures of my face crumpled into the floor. <laughs> uh, that's when I prefer does it that, best. Does that get weird when you see your own picture all over the city? It's heartbreaking, <laughs> especially when there's things drawn on it. That's even more heartbreaking. <laughs> Do you know how much we pay to have those pictures up? <laughs> oh, it's, it's not, no bitterness at all there, though. No, none. But I'll tell you now, it's not Banksy that's graffiti in my pictures. <laughs> Some of a marker and very unkind. So what would you say is the highlight of your festival going, not just this year, but for... The end? <laughs> uh, no. The highlight, just get into it. I, I, I enjoy watching other comedians when I'm up here as well, so getting to see lots of brilliant comedy, I think, is good. How long does it take you to come up with a show? <sighs> so the train journey up to Edinburgh is three hours. <laughs> so. No, I've been working on it for the past uh, year. So when I, because I didn't do Edinburgh last year, so I started to work on it last year. So I'm working on it for a year. And what's coming next? What are you going to, what's after, after the festival? Oh, right, I was going to say after this, we <laughs> go for a coffee, have a little walk. Uh, after the festival, what am I doing? I'm working on, a, I'm working on something at the minute with another comedian. So uh, we're working on that and uh, doing radio bits and bobs. Yeah, busy. 
So, so in comedy, is your, your, your whole shtick? My whole, I thought you said something else, son. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I do now. And uh, so where do you get the inspiration for this stuff? You know, and I know people sort of go, oh, I always pick it up from the bus, but is it, is it something that comes to you quickly or is it something that... I just like, I hang around, like, and just wait for people to say funny things and I write them down <laughs> and then pretend they're my own. Just thieving? <laughs> yeah, that's stealing, a, that's, that's what that's... I do. No, I don't. I don't. So, so would you say, is there something that will happen in a day and you just go, that's, that's got to be a joke, I can see the comedy in that, or is it, do you sit down and, and think about it? it, it well, it's, I, everything that I tell stories about is based on a truth, uh, but then I exaggerate that truth <laughs> <laughs> to a large extent and then try and find the funny in it. And so within all those kind of, uh, within the, the ideas that you have for when you're coming up with a show or when you're getting, coming up to Edinburgh, um, how do, you, how do you whittle that down? How do you, how do you come to the... So we do previews, so we okay. test our material out before we come up here. Um, so, and then in previews, if I listen to them back and if things don't work, then I'll take that out or like, you know, fidget with it a little bit. Fidget? That's not, that's not the right word, is it? Can be. No. It is now. You've used it. <laughs> Just it's have done. a little scratch. <laughs> uh, no, and then so we sort of whittle it down. So we do it in previews and if things doesn't work, then we change it around. Okay, cool. And so just say, tell us again before we leave you. Um, where can we see the show? When's it on? It's FOMO. It's at 9.35 every night at uh, the Community Project. Okay, fabulous. Thank you very much. Here You're welcome. Thank you. And don't forget, you can follow us at edfest underscore live uh, on Twitter, and you can catch us again on uh, YouTube, which apparently all the kids are using nowadays, on SBC uh, Edfest Live. I can remember that one, if you look it up. And you can catch us on uh, Sky Channel 266. Before we unleash Harry Mary, and unleash is very much the right word, we are going to meet our next guests, Flo and Joan. So welcome up to stage. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. 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 So how is your festival going? Fantastic. Good. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good so It's far. fun. It's our first one. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. We've been living in Toronto, so we came in to say hi to the Edinburgh. <laughs> And how are you finding it? How do you, it's my city, so you have to be nice about it. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. It's great. No, it's actually really cool. Cause Toronto is, like, really old. Like, we've only been in Toronto for a couple of years. But it's, like, really old, and there's, like, buildings here which are older than Canada's history in yes. general. <laughs> uh, so it's nice to be in, like, a room that is uh, ghosty. <laughs> this is a very go yeah. ghosty building. When it's you come in, building. it's quite... Yeah, it's, it's quite, quite spooky. Quite imposing. So tell me, uh, how is Matthew, McCon uh, Matthew McConaughey involved in uh, your show? And he directed us. Oh, yeah, excellent. he's our excellent. father. We're sisters, he's <laughs> yeah, our dad. Uh, no, we have a song, it's called It's All Right. You know, he has that phrase, all right, all right. Is that how he says it? Yeah, that's exactly yeah, how he says it. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just about, it's just a bit of that. It's, the song isn't about Matthew McConaughey. We just say it's all right a lot in the songs. <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah. In the style yeah. of Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if this is disappointing. No, 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 no. So... You've already spoken about it. So where are you guys from originally, if it's not Toronto? Originally? We're from Portsmouth. Right. Any Way. fun facts about Portsmouth? I've, I've never been. Portsmouth. I don't know anything um, about Portsmouth. Naval City. Yeah, it's famous for its old-fashioned prostitutes. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, yeah. ships. Sorry, ships. how far away is this Portsmouth with its old-fashioned prostitutes? I hate those oh. new prostitutes you get now, doing all their new prostitutes know, stuff. Yeah. Like an old-fashioned yeah, prostitute. Like more empowered ones. now, I think. Yeah, more, they were. Yeah. Actually, who cares? <laughs> So have you taken in any of the sights of Edinburgh? Have you done the tourist bit while you're doing the... We had a curry yesterday. That's very Edinburgh. Yeah. <laughs> it's very Edinburgh. Uh, we haven't yet. I think, yeah, we're still... I think we're still, like, a little bit jet-lagged and just trying to find, like, find our actual feet. And then next week, when we've, like, tilled out a bit, we'll go and check out some stuff. Yeah. How's, how's your show going? It's good. We've had packed houses every night. We had so many people just standing at the back last night. Oh, and amazing. all the nights, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, other comedians think, yeah, great. Yeah, <laughs> Our show is also free, though, so it <laughs> kind of makes it better. Yeah. Where, uh, where's it on? We're at the newsroom on Leith Street, somewhere over there, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's over there. It's somewhere over there. We, got, we get so lost when we're out here. My Google Maps, I don't think, has the same map as Edinburgh. Edinburgh is a tough one to get. I tell right. you what it's it is, it's the bridges, because the maps, the maps don't tell you that there are bridges. So yeah. you think you can go down this way, and then it's just like a brick wall or a bridge, or oh. you're just not. God, the amount of arguments we've had about bloody bridges, I <laughs> swear. It's, it's a warren. I mean, it's not easy to get around. <laughs> so you guys do uh, comedy music. Yes. I imagine that's hard. I can't, I mean, I can't play any musical instrument or be funny, so I can't imagine <laughs> trying to do both at the same time. 
It's definitely more of a challenge, I'd say. We're both sort of musical ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so, but music is a good thing to... It's a good device to use in comedy because music is just as important. If you're doing musical comedy, the music is just as important as the jokes because they both sort of help each other. Uh, so it's just a case of finding out where they match and making it work. But yeah. it's fun. It's, it's, it's fun because it's more of a challenge. Uh, yeah. You also can't improvise when you write music because... If you do, if something goes wrong, as we've found many times. Yeah. So you can't just make stuff up as you go, because <laughs> the piano is still going and our mouths are like, la, 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 la. <laughs> so yeah, it's hard but it's fun. It's so how, how did you make? How did you start out? Uh, we started. Uh, we started a year ago when we were in Toronto and figured that we should try it there because if it doesn't work and we're not very good, we can just come back to the UK and no one has to know about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just because we both do music and we were both doing uh, different kinds of comedy, we just thought we'd give the music thing a go because we couldn't see many people doing it in Toronto. Um, and yeah, it just kind of stuck. We were ready to like abandon it and run away, but yeah, we've kind of we're sticking with it so far. Yeah, we're sisters, so we used to make up stupid songs in the car when we were younger. So uh, I guess this, this is just an adult version of that. Yeah. <laughs> we used to watch, our mum used to take us to watch The Singing Kettle all oh, the time. Yeah. No, so, nothing wrong with that, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and so it, it might be The Singing Kettle's fault that we are here right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us again where, where, where we can catch a show and then I think you're going to give us a musical number. Yes, yeah. so we're at the newsroom, 10pm every night until the 21st. Uh, it's a free show. It's great, it's cool. <laughs> Come. Well, give us a taste, why don't you? Cool, we will. Yeah. Thank you. This is the Matthew McConaughey song. Get ready to be disappointed. Just kidding. Sometimes in life we do things wrong like Judas did to Jesus. 